Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Now it is about 1 a.m. in the morning and I just got back from the library so I'm probably not the most energetic person in the world and I'm also, I, I don't look very good now but um, hopefully it's okay. I have a lot of things to show you and I thought I might just go ahead and do this haul video simply because um, I probably won't have time in the next few weeks. I'm lying. I love doing videos for you guys, so never mind. But um, I also just decided, because I'm going to be using these products, and I thought I wanted to show you while they were relatively new. So the first thing, I know I'm on a makeup ban, and these things are... Okay, in my, in my sort of view of the world, <laughs> makeup does not include skincare and nails. So I bought nail polish, and I bought Lush. So I will show you those things. But the makeup items are uh, were given to me, or um, you'll see that they came with the Vogue issue, uh, Vogue Australia issue, the July issue, which I don't have right here, so I'm not going to go get it. But it came in this Beauty Icons box. Basically, Vogue was having a promotion where they would give out this Beauty Icons by Mecca Cosmetica. And Mecca Cosmetica is the equivalent of Sephora in the US. So that's what we have here in Australia. Except that Mecca Cosmetica is crazy expensive. It is crazy expensive, but they have NARS. So they're the only outlet that sells NARS and Philosophy and Stila and things like that and by Terry and Hourglass. They have all those brands. But yeah, they just basically, um, just like Vogue has, or other magazines have their like their top beauty products. Mecca Cosmetica has their own beauty icons, so I could exchange um, that voucher that I bought that I got from Vogue for number one an eye makeover that was worth ninety dollars. And I did that eye makeover. I didn't take any pictures or anything because I don't like it when people do my makeup. I just never like it. I'm horrible, and I know I just they just don't understand that I really like smoky eyes and stuff like that. So I. I wasn't excited about it or anything, and I just didn't actually want to even do it because I kind of had to go home really quick to study. But anyway, so I'll show you what was in this thing because quite a bit was in this. And the first thing is the, well, the first thing, the actually the most exciting thing is the NARS Multiple in South Beach. And it's just a really cute mini multiple, and it is so adorable. I am so excited to use this because I've actually used it once as you can see this is the NARS multiple in South Beach yeah I broke a nail can you see that anyway <laughs> this is the NARS multiple in South Beach and I would say that this is more of a rosy color than an actual bronzer because I'll swatch it for you I could use this definitely as a blush no the light is washing well it looks like I mean it has a rosy peachy undertone to it so contouring with it I think it would be better as a blush than a contour, in my opinion. So I'll be using it as a blush. And I love how it's a cream to powder formula. So right now it feels like powder. But of course, on the stick, it looks like a cream product. So yay, NARS Multiple. And this is really handy if you are like, you know, going, you know, going somewhere and you just need to stuff it in your makeup bag while, while you're on the go. I don't know if the Vogue issue is still out. I think everyone sweeped it up already. And I was just really lucky because it was in my uni um, store, like the magazine. And I guess no one reads Vogue at uni except me. So I picked the last, I actually picked the last Vogue magazine. The next one is, of course, the To Save Face SPF 30 Plus Hydrating Facial Sunscreen by Mecca Cosmetica. So it's by Mecca Cosmetica. So it looks like this. It's a sunscreen. I have tried it once and I just feel like it hasn't really, it doesn't really blend into your skin very well. If I'm not correct. God, I, I look like I've just came out of the desert. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, it, it just doesn't like, yeah, it just doesn't blend very well and it's not like the best sunscreen I think I have ever tried. So uh, the best sunscreen I've ever tried is Elizabeth Arden UV Protector SPF 50. It's crazy expensive though. I can't afford it like regularly. The next one is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray. I've never heard of this brand. So I can't say anything about it. And plus, <laughs> I I don't really like hair products because they never work on me. They always do some stuff 
They smell nice. Does it smell nice? Let's see. Please don't hurt me. No, it does not smell nice. <laughs> Did I say spell nice? I didn't, <laughs> it was too late for me, guys. It does not smell nice. No, it does not smell nice. Anyway, the next one is the Nude um, Asian Fence Moisture. I really, really like this. Legit like this. But I don't know how much it is in Mecca Cosmetica. It's probably going to be like $100 over dollars. Um, because Mecca Cosmetics is like freaking ridiculous. Um, Age Defense Moisturizer. This is really good. It's by Nude. And this is what like the thing looks like. It's like a tester, of course. I love how it's a little tube. This is like the Biotherm Aquasource Gel, but creamier. A little creamier than that, but a really nice consistency. So, so it blends in. And it feels really, really cooling. Really nice. I love this. Um, I do. And now, nowadays... Um, cause I have to find a use for this cause then I'm going to waste it. I put it on my under eye circles because it feels really nice on me. It doesn't break me out or anything either. The next thing is by the beauty club. So you know that the beauty club sent me, um, Miss Popularity Benefit Highlighter. And, um, they also sent me this. The Dior Show x -Ace Mascara. And the box is over there, but I don't want to pick it up because I am too sleepy. So this is the Dior Show Flash Plumping Mascara, and this is what it looks like. It is like the Ramel Sexy Curves Mascara, but of course this is Christian Dior, so I'm expecting it to be a lot better. I have tried it a few times. Sometimes I love it, and sometimes I don't like it. It's really weird. Like, some days, um, oh, this mascara sucks, and then the next day it's like, oh, this is actually a really good mascara. So now I'm all confused, and I have to do a review soon, so look forward to that, and I'll come up with a conclusion of what I think about this. It's probably an in-between mascara. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I think it depends on how much you layer it, but I'll save that to the review. The next one is, uh, next stuff, the stuff is from eBay, and the reason why I got it from eBay is because their nail polishes, by the way, is because they don't have they don't have Essie and China Glaze in um, Australia. Well, okay, I think they have Essie somewhere in Melbourne, but they sell it for like twenty dollars a bottle. I'm not gonna pay that much for Essie, and they didn't have the colors that I wanted, and so I got. Um, I was so amazed by the resort collection that Essie just came out with the spring one, and I just really really wanted. Turquoise and Caicos, which looks like this. Such a beautiful green color. And I don't have greens or blues, so I just particularly had, I just bought four nail polishes of green and blues because I don't have any. I usually stick to reds, as you can see. And this is the Lapis of Luxury. Did I just go out of frame? Yeah, I just went out of frame. This is the Lapis of Luxury. It's a beautiful periwinkle blue color that's sort of light. I love, 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 love this blue. This is like the perfect blue color on your nails and I have not tried it yet but I will soon enough when I have time to take my nail polish off. This is a Vodka and Caviar by OPI. So I'm really excited to use these and then I have two more nail polishes. This is in Fort Audrey of course. This is like this is like Stila's Kitten, Nars' Orgasm, China Glaze's Fort Audrey. There's also Ruby Pumps which is also really famous for China Glaze but I already have a lot of red nail polishes and I didn't need Ruby Pumps, but I do need Fort Audrey because I don't have um, a nail polish that looks like this. And then of course, I'm so happy I got Refresh Mint, which is a beautiful pastel, really, really light green. If you mix pastel green with a lot of white, you get Refresh Mint and it's very refreshing, I think. I think it'll be great because um, although it is winter here in Melbourne currently, it's okay what color nail polish you wear, by the way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to suit the weather, I'm just saying. But I am going back to Singapore in July just to see, like, my family and friends and everything for the holiday. And I'm so excited. It'll be summer there. But I like the winter, actually. I like being cold. It's like natural air conditioning. So I'm not too excited about the weather in Singapore because I know it's going to be very, very hot. The next thing I have, well, the last groups of things is Lush. I went to Lush. Um, the reason why I went to Lush is because I thought I wasn't exfoliating my skin enough. Like, I felt that I was just using the um, acne gel cleanser just to layer it, just to, like, take the grime off. But I wasn't really actually exfoliating my face and taking really deep cleaning my face. So I um, 
took the chance to go and go to Lush because I haven't been in ages and I just wanted to try their new stuff. Well, not their new stuff, but just try something that I haven't tried before from Lush. And I wanted a mask because I wanted a sort of antiseptic mask that would just take away the impurities. And I got Cosmetic Warrior, which looks like this. It is a superhero face mask to combat spots, cleanse dirt, and calm and soothe all troubled skin. I'm about to go sleep now. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I'm doing this so late. The reason why I'm doing this so late is because I barely have time to actually do a video. And I really want to do a video. So I like doing videos. Anyway, this has fresh garlic, tea tree essential oil, kaolin, and fresh grapes, and softening honey. This is what it looks like. I have been using it, so that's why it looks used. But I've used it for two days already. I really, really like it. I love how it's very, very gentle and um, sort of forms a really nice light layer on your skin. I think it's great. Um, it's not as heavy as a usual mask that just you know that you shouldn't use it every day. I'm actually going to do an experiment. I'm actually going to use this every single night. So after I do this video, I'm going to wash my face and use it. And I usually leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes until it dries and settles into my skin and then I wash it off. And I like it. I like it already. So it smells smells like honey and tea tree oil together. I don't know what combination that might conjure up in your life. In your life. Well, I'm not making sense anymore in your head, but yeah. Okay, so the next stuff is two samples because the lady was really, really nice. And she gave me two samples. This is the Angels on Bare Skin Cleanser. That is so famous. I love this. It smells really good. It smells like essential oils. Love the smell. Love the product. Um, I have been exfoliating my skin in the morning and I feel really refreshed after I use it. And my skin feels very soft. The next one is Herbalism Cleanser, which looks like this. It's a green green icky green cleanser I do not like the smell I have not tried it because of the smell but I will try it eventually it's like the new one I think it's supposed to like prevent breakouts and stuff like that which is good because I do have acne prone skin and the last thing is not makeup related or skincare related it is earrings I got I bought earrings online I bought earrings from okay well okay this is the thing when I get stressed out I go shopping but because I don't have time I because because usually I come home late from studying I don't have time to go to the store so I do online shopping <laughs> so um I just shop around and there's this thing where it's shopbop.com and the link will be in the down bar and I just stumbled across their site they have like designers like Tony Burke they have marked by Marc Jacobs things like that um, and they do free shipping three days it takes you three days free shipping worldwide I'm like hell yeah so I bought a pair of earrings from there and it's the Mark by Mark Jacobs earrings and there they are the um, logo disc studs I don't know if you can see that but like um, they have there we go they have the name Mark by Mark Jacobs on it and it's so cute I love it I love how it's, this is the gold, it's a gold, oh sorry, <laughs> it's a gold rim, but it's it has white, it's white, can you see that? I really like, it's really classic. Bought these because they'd be great for everyday earrings, I'm going to put them on for you. La 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 la, earrings. I think earrings make a statement, no matter how small they are. Okay, that's one, because I'm too lazy to put the other one, but... Yeah, they're cute. I like them. And they just go with everything. So I'm like, yeah. And they were like, they weren't too bad, expensive or anything. So it's all good in the hood. And then they got this, which is a Mark by Mark Jacobs again. <laughs> okay, this is a story, girls. I was shopping on Nordstrom. I didn't buy anything. And then I was just like, hmm, can I get a cheaper price? Then I went on Saks Fifth Avenue, so this is the box that actually came in, SaksFifthAvenue.com, and I was just like, okay, look, the shipping is 10 times cheaper, it's not like $50 shipping or anything, it was like 20 or whatever. So I was like, oh, let's get this, so I bought it, 
And then I was looking around photos because I wanted to see how, you know, how it would look on people. And then I saw that Shopbop was selling these. And these were the white with gold, which is like one of my favorite color combinations ever. So I bought this. So I bought two. And that's okay because they're different colors. And this one is like a teal, teal gray with silver lining. I love these as well. These are really great for winter. These are really great for like summer. It doesn't really matter. You can mix and match and whatever. But I like both of them because they're both different colors and they're different even though they look exactly the same. They are exactly the same. They're just different color. But I like them. I mean, it's like everyday sort of earrings. You know what I'm saying? Everyday sort of earrings. You've got to invest in a good pair. And then if you can see that, they have the Mark by Mark Jacobs inscription on there and they have a really cute like little bolt as the um, earring stud so that's bunches of fun I really should go sleep now you guys I can't even put this earring back on properly I'm sleepy okay yeah so I hope this video was not boring but I really have to go I have to go sleep now good night goodbye sweet dreams I hope I dream of good things tonight and I'm going to go study tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye.